Hello everyone, Martin is here. I'm going to present all details regarding geometric dimensioning and tolerancing. In this journey, we are going to cover from elementary level to advanced level. Today, I'm going to answer three different questions. What is the basic definition of GDNT? When we use GDNT? And last question is why we use GDNT? The basic definition, definition of GDNT is related to feature control frame. Feature control frame is the backbone of GDNT. As we can see in this figure, we have a box. It is, it is divided to several boxes. In first box, as we can see here, we have used geometric tolerance symbol. We have 14 different symbols. We are going to talk about all of them in details in coming sessions. In second box, we may need to use symbol. For sure, we are going to use a number here. We may need to use modifier. In other boxes, we can see they are related to reference plane or datum planes, primary, secondary, and treasure. As we can see here, we may need to use modifier for reference plane. Now we have a very basic of feature control frame, this box. Let's go to answer the second question. When we use GDNT? The, the answer is, when we have an assembly, several components are connected to each other, and when we do machining for those components, we need to use GDNT. You may ask me why we don't use tolerances. Yes, we can use the tolerances for that, but this is the third question. Before going to answer the third question, we have two examples here, two examples here. Let's say flatness in the first box, we can see in this box, and we have just one number in second box, and we don't need to have any reference plane for flatness. In second example, we can see the perpendicularity symbol here, and in second box, we have a diameter symbol, number, modifier, and also here we need to have reference plane. We'll talk about them in future. Let's answer the third question. Why we need GDNT? Here we have a plate. There are several holes here and for the position of this hole, the center of this hole, we have tolerances. It is plus minus 0 0.05 for the center of this hole. It means based on coordinate tolerance zone, we need to define this box around the center of this hole, with this dimension 0 0.1, 0 0.1. And all points, as are shown here in the red color, there are acceptable points. Now I have a question. What's your idea? The, core, the point at the corner of this box, is it acceptable or not? Yes, it is acceptable because it is related to the acceptable zoom based on coordinate tolerance zoom. But what is the distance from that corner to the center of the hole? It is bigger than 0.05. As we can see here, it is calculated. The diameter of this circle divided by 2 is 0 0.0705. It is greater than 0 0.05. It is acceptable point. It means if I'm going to make a circle at the center of the hole with this diameter, we are going to cover all acceptable points because the distance from the point inside the circle are smaller than 
the distance from the corner of the box to the center of the hole. If we are going to calculate the area of the box and area of the circle, and then we are going to divide these two areas to each other, we can see the area of geometric tolerance zone is 57% greater than the area of the area of coordinate coordinate tolerance zone. It means we don't need to have that much accurate machining. We are going to cover more area, more points. If we don't need to have that much accurate machining, what does it mean? It means we are going to save time and then we are going to save money. And also, if you are going to define, for example, this feature, this plane should be perpendicular to this plane. If you are going to use GDNT, again, we are going to save time and then money. That's why we need to use GDNT. Geometric dimensioning and tolerancing GDNT is based on ANSI ANSI Y14.5 M-1983 and then ASME or ASME Y14.5-1994. For today, I'm going to close this session. I hope you enjoy it. And for next session, I'm going to talk about the modifiers. Step by step, we go ahead and we talk about all details. Thank you for today and have a nice day.